I have my DJI Osmo Action 4 with the Samsung card and I got my Osmo Pocket 3 with the SanDisk card. Hey on fish, oh what a wonderful morning it is. I'm heading on out to the amusement park. Yeah, and we're gonna do a nice uh, ride. And maybe I'll do this as a review of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Yes, indeed. I didn't do a review like this in a long time. Set up your camera for bike mode. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. If you're interested in a Pocket 3 and you're looking at reviews, yeah, there's so many unboxing reviews out there just pick one and watch it. You want to watch who's got the best settings? Pick one and watch it. We all love to get a camera, open it up, and go right out and shoot. We all come into troubles in trying to figure things out of what's the right setting? How come my video is not like yours? Why is everyone so perfect? And we try to figure out why that is. Do we watch the right people's videos? Do we watch real people's videos? Are people really telling the story? Or are they just the ones that are so popular that they just don't tell it right? So you're looking to get a Pocket 3 or another camera and you want to check it out. Check out real people's reviews. They tell it like it is. I'm not saying to, you know, not trust that person or trust this person. I'm just saying it inside, out loud, how I feel and see things. The Pocket 3 is a one inch sensor. Oh man, you don't even need low light to get those low light shots at night. And you can use auto tracking at night time. People use filters to better the camera. People don't use filters because they may not fit. The one thing I will tell you, yes man, get yourself a DJI mic too. Hang on, I got some bumps. And the ladies always run every single day. I see them all the time. Oh man, are they great. Sound is part of the story of video and the camera as well. So you got three things to really think about. But the main thing is the camera person. Yeah, you like him, you don't. I want to thank DJI for not picking me. I bought this with my own money, sharing it to the world the way I share videos. Not all video and audio is going to sync up correctly with the Bluetooth mic. And many people don't say that. I'm going to tell you my settings and how the bike stuff in a few seconds. Ooh, that's new. Oh man, now I got to be careful when I ride. There's always one to go through that's wide. Notice the Osmo Action 4. It's sleeping, and which way? On a beautiful mount. I'm on a smooth boardwalk made of concrete. I'm heading on to a rough part that's made of wood. Am I bouncing? I'm holding a hand the way I hold my cameras all the time. So the Pocket 3 does a mighty fine job on a boardwalk. Does a mighty fine and daytime light. The only problem is your screen is the most difficult thing to see. 50% brightness, I got no idea what's on. I can see it with my glasses, just a very shallow thing. So yeah, as long as I know my camera is facing me and where it's out, I'm good to go. My only problem is when I'm forward, I don't know which way it's really facing. Maybe a fix to that is, is drawing a green arrow on the top. 
And this way, maybe, just maybe, I know which way it's really pointing. Opening day. What's well, last week? Opening day is now this week. Oh yeah, it's open. Getting ready to go. Like the DJI Mic 2's got a little vibrator built in. The Pocket 3 does not. And that would be something awesome to have. Knowing that your mic is hooked up, knowing that the camera's starting to record, then the beats that you mute. Oh, the days I used to hang out. Yes, indeed. Man, they were my days. Sweet dreams, Coney Island. Time to pull to the side and have my talk. The DJI Mic 2 has a benefit. It has a remote control on the pair button. We're gonna move on down. I don't know if you hear the beeps all the time, but the sun is well past the golden hour. And we're doing a great shot, as you can see. It is one of the popular cameras on YouTube, but is it the camera for you, me, and others? Because you hear what people say, do you believe? This is a real person telling it like it is, and you will make a decision for yourself. Just going to a person's video and checking it out. This is known as the parachute jump. I'm gonna go up on the joystick. Hopefully you're able to see the top of it. And it was supposed to get back into production. They tore it down, repainted it, and come at nighttime to see it lit up. So I didn't have my Pocket 3 for a long time. I waited, not because it was out of stock, because it was a popular camera. I made my decision just sitting back, watching many videos, and with the people I share. And here I am with one. I'm not gonna convince you, because it's not my hard-earned cash I'm spending, or yours. You have to make that choice for yourself if your hard-earned cash needs a good camera. And early on, I kind of said, I uh, was talking about something about gear, just a little bit. And yeah, if you got all the gear in the world, what do you need extra for? If you don't have all the extra gear and you just have nothing and you're looking for a camera, this one could be the one for you. It is a one inch sensor. It is a delicate camera. Yeah, it all depends if you drop everything and all that. And if you go out in pouring rain and you think it's gonna go into the water, this is not the camera for you. So my settings for on a bike, and I try to be real careful. I always hold it in my hand. I try not to lean against it is not just about a resolution or the frames per second, but what you like. It's about the pro settings of the camera to get that awesome shot on my bike vids. 4K, 30 frames per second. There is no rock steady or horizon balance. It's all gimbal. And there is no field of view. It's just the lens of the Pocket 3. You're gonna go into the Pro settings and set up your sharpness to negative two and your video noise reduction to negative one. You want more sharpness? To me, that doesn't give detail, it gives a lot of detail, maybe too much. And noise reduction, you could do in editor. So that's why you lower those settings down. Oh, I'm no pro. And I take the ISO 50, 3200. I leave it at the maximum. Oh man, I should pump it down to 400 because in cameras, regular film cameras, during the daytime, 
the maximum you would use is 100 through 400. At nighttime, you switch out your film, right? Well, this is not a camera. It's totally different. There's not much more you can do but adjust your shutter. If you go 1 25th, then you're going to get, what, too bright? And if you go 1 8,000th, you're going to get too dark. So I just basically leave the uh, shutter 1 50th, double the frame rate of 24. So I got to go higher. I got to go 1 60th. But motion blur, man. And then the next thing I think I do is the EV value over on this camera. Just put it to, you got it, whatever you like, negative 1.0. And if you want to adjust it during your video and not stop it, you swipe and you can do so, raise and lower. I dialed mine down to negative 1.0. If I wasn't clear enough, if I remember, I'll put down in the descriptions how I do my bike settings for you. So check that out. It's going to be a little hard for me to do when I got so many clips to put in and edit. Oh yeah, I do HEVC H265. My machine can handle it. Not a problem. I just don't love getting this screenshot. We're going to head on out to the street level, so you got to see what uh, the area of the amusement park looks like, right? So yeah, head on to the famous place, soon to have the hot dogs, the challenge. And yeah, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is put to the challenge. Oh man, they closed off my entrance. How am I supposed to cut through? <laughs> Let's get on out of here and go pick a better spot. Riding when the sun's in front, you're not gonna get a great shot. It may look a little dark to you. Look at that, they're ready to open up to go play. Yeah, man, so yeah, we'll flip you around. Oh yeah, maybe in a couple of years, I'll be ready to get a pocket six. We got to head down this path. The other path over there, that was a step. And I'll be hitting that step. Oh yeah, I don't like riding single-handed. Was that a little bumpy, a little choppy for you? It sure was. Let's get on going. Oh man, that's an awesome shot. So you ever get to down to Nathan's? Nathan's is a hot dog place, been around for many years. Frog legs. Hot dogs. They're open, they're not closed. Yeah, hot dogs, man place to be at. So let's get on out of here. And go down somewhere else. Yeah, man, come down to the El Dorado bumper cars. Oh, not because I saw the name. I've been there, man. Fee, fi, fo, fu. Looking down the barrels of the devil's gun. Nowhere to hide. Hurry, hurry, up in the air. Get that shot. Am I getting it? Well, this is the Cyclone. I think it's about $10 to get on the ride. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the ride. We're gonna head on through a different area. Triple press, one, two, three. So if you're looking for a pocket three, you could just disregard those prompts, man. 
Disregard that orange thing that says you reach the limits of your gimbal. Aquarium's open 24 7, 365. I got shark teeth from a friend. And yeah, they put a dinosaur over here every year, not up today. Yep, they made one of these and they brought that down. You got it. Somebody went out and had a ride in one. Battery life. I didn't talk about that at all. I got myself the standalone. I don't need to worry about battery life. When I got a bike light that's a power bank, I need to charge it for a few minutes or whatever. Real, real quick charge. It lasts a very long time. Normally, my battery on my bike vlogs lasts about 20% usage maximum. I'm pretty happy. With the 64 gig card, I don't fill that up either. Hey fish, why don't you stop? Put the uh, gimbal onto the handlebar. I get some footage to show people what it looks like on the boardwalk. Well, I don't want to do that. Too much vibration. I don't want to risk it. I watch it loosen up, slide down, and just I, 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 I look vibrant like that. In the hand, should do mighty fine. I'm on the straight boards right now. And that should be fine the way it works. It's an awesome camera for vlogging, for cinematography. Cine photography. I can't spit that word out. Cinema videography. There you go, fish. Oh, yeah, man. Get down to the water. The seagulls feeding. Flying, slow motion switch, can't do that. The difference between the Action 4 and the Pocket 3. If I'm using the DJI mic and I got the Pocket 3, the on and off is right there, very easy to use. Soft the button, I don't have to use the remote control to press it, to set up. I just simply hold it out, press the button, and I got my shot. With the Osmo Action 4, oh man, I gotta lose five seconds of video. Each way that is. The one thing that the Osmo Action 4, the OA4, has over the OP3, Osmo Pocket 3, is the quick start. Just simply hit it, and you don't have to do anything else. It's immediately on. With the OP3, the screen's a lot larger than the Pocket 2. It's a little bit shy of the OA4, and it's the same size as the GoPro Hero cameras. So man, if you're looking for a GoPro, just pass them by, get yourself the Pocket 3, and be on your merry old way. This whole bike ride, my camera was not hot at all, nice and comfortable to hold, no issues, no complaints, not even with a standard SD card. Sandus Extreme only. Waiting for the stoplight to change to green. I don't get that. I got the standalone. Didn't need the wide angle lens. My arm is bent like this. And I'm doing a mighty fine job if asked. Oh yeah, I don't have it on uh, last setting. I have it on forward and not backwards when I start up. And I keep the screen closed. And I'm on 4K at 30. And I just tap the bottom right corner to swap it around like so. I use the record button to turn on. And then I hit the record button to start the video. And then I long press the record button to shut off. If you make a video and you're recording and you don't like it, don't forget, long press it. It'll cancel out that recording, it'll prompt, and delete it out. Okay, so let's move along, get where we need to be at, and finalize our video. We got some activity here, celebration, protesting, more like it. Yeah, let's go ride by and see. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we do everything in this world. Loads of fun, man. Ah, pocket three, in hand, while on, you can capture it all. If you like nitpicking on every single thing, when you tap the screen, you're gonna feel just a little play, like a movement, that's quite the norm. And the bottom module cube that attaches to the USB-C and tripod, just the standalone. Yeah, it's a little loose. That's a shock absorber. It's a cushion so it stops the up and down motion. And if you want to put the battery extension on, it's going to be twice as big as that. And when you put that mini tripod on, you put all these modules on, man, you got yourself a walking stick. The OP3, and you like video editing of your choice, I use for my vlogs right now. For more 13, 13, 3, oh. And it's all right. It's not the worst editor. And it's a pretty good editor. If asked, does the things I want it to do. And it does a mighty fine job. But lately, like I said early on, oh, I had that blue screen of death. And yeah, it happens. It is what it is, man. I could come to a conclusion in this video. I'm not a conclusion in, uh, down the road. But today in the video, how I liked the Pocket 3 and will it perform. How it will perform. How it performed well. Oh man, fish, get those words out. Now one issue. Can't see the screen in pure daylight. Nighttime, oh man, I love it. It's easy to use, operate, not too many controls, simple to figure out. Dial in your right settings, oh yeah, you'll be happy indeed. Woohoo! Yeah, man, always do that little screen test, that wasn't a loud one. I can't really comment on the time lapse, motion lapse, waypoints, but having just two waypoint settings, make it four. And yeah, make it stereo with the DJI mic two, and I have two separate microphones. And yeah, I do a little couple extra things if there's something like, uh, you know, cater to us with the profile C1, C2, allow us to put in some names, and Take away the prompts, get rid of them, put them in the tips that you can simply turn on and off. When I first started my camera up and that orange screen came across, I thought that said SD card slow. It was like uh, the gimbal reaches end point, uh, hurry center. Imagine they made the screen just have it just on the very top part, not so wide, make it a real skinny line like the DJI Mic 2 gain. Oh man, that'd be awesome. And then a whole camera. But the only good thing about the prompt of the DJI Mic 2 on the cameras is, it tells you that you're starting recording. So this way, hey, I hit the button, I know I'm recording. When you hit the bullet button for record, that is. Oh, fish, what you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about on the Osmo Action 4, the low light enable. When I hit that, I get a prompt of low light enabled. And that's what I mean about that. Time to wrap this bad boy up, put you away, because the rainy days are coming, and I got something that I can edit, share, put together the best I can with the story I told the way I told it. Oh man, what happened? Mistakes happen, people don't show it. Well, I did tell a story, I did share a story. I'm able to put the camera away because rainy days are coming, and I got time to edit, subtitle, all that good stuff, and share it to the world. My inner thoughts out loud in the review, out in the real world, then just an unboxing. I hope you enjoy your camera, no matter which camera you get. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3, standalone, 519, 669 for the Creators Edition. You wanna get, you wanna do, it's all up to you if you want the package care. Be careful how you use it because everybody else shares their thoughts what may or may happen with theirs or yours or all. And on that note, whew, I had a good bike ride. 
a good walk this morning and a good shared talk and a product review. Have a great day. I'll see you on many other videos to come.